You've likely heard the term formative years, but do you really know what it means? And do you know just how important they are? I am here with Debbie Kieran, who is the Assistant Director of Admissions here at Columbus Academy to learn more about it. And Debbie, thank you so much for being with me. You're welcome, Robin. Glad to be here. So formative years, like I said, you may have heard that term, but I even asked myself today, well, when exactly is that? What years are there are the formative years? You'll, you'll hear and read different things in research, but usually I consider it birth to five or six years. Uh, some people say as, as high as eight. And formative, I mean, so you're saying those years make you who you are, right? Sometimes. I, I don't want to say that a child uh, doesn't develop after the age of six or they don't come into their own uh, at that point, but yet research will so show 80% of sometimes the intelligence of an 18-year-old was learned uh, before they were six and you hear about that phrase, all I need to know, I learned in kindergarten, how to get along, how to share, how to play fair, flush, all those good things are, are maybe important before you're six years old, yeah. So if we are talking to parents out there today who have young children, I have a 10 month old, so okay. I was nervous. I was like, Debbie's gonna tell me I need to do all these things that I'm not doing yet. But no, what are some, some key points, some things that we as parents can be doing at home before our child even gets to school? Right, the importance of reading, I can't say it enough. It would be read, read, read. But you also have to give your child space. Outdoor play, I, I'm in an era where you would go out and uh, play, the street lights would come on and you, you would go home. Um, sometimes you can saturate your child with too, too much academics. Other times uh, you, you just have to take it and have a nice balance with what they're doing outdoor play. You wanna do a little reading. Debbie, let's talk about schools and their role then in the formative years. What should they be doing? What should you expect from your child's school? I, that's important and it's also very personal when you're looking for schools. What you do want a school to do is know your child. Does anybody know my child? And when you're looking for a school, the feeling that you get for it for the community, the enthusiasm of the faculty, look in the halls and walls, see if the things are, are child generated. And you want to have a teacher who's not going to miss your child's window of opportunity. How important is early intervention if you notice things are not being met? Oh, right, uh, benchmarks are there, they're set for a reason. Um, you know, you look at your child and if they're not speaking by the age of two, you, you are starting to wonder. But I know when I taught first grade, if a child didn't have the reading process or the readiness skills by, oh, towards the end of first grade, yes, you are calling in the troops. Let's see, do we need to look at their, their eyesight? Are their hearing okay? Are there other things? Because early intervention is, is important. How should a child feel coming to school every day? I think this is the most important question in, in talking about formative years. Mm -hmm. You never, you, you have to look at your child every morning and if they bound out of bed and they can hardly wait to get to school or it's Saturday and they go, oh, no school today, you probably know things are, are going well. Uh, you want them to come in not worried about anything. So communication is important with your child. It, it is interesting though, most children will come home from school, what did you do today? Oh, nothing. Well, in our case of you're spending a lot of money, you want a little bit more than nothing. <laughs> so how you ask questions, we have blogs at our school too that the teachers put on daily so they can look at it and say, I see you mix colors today. How did that go? When you have a certain specific, that's good, good speaking and, and talking information with your child. So they think, wow, my parents know a little bit more about what my day looked like and hopefully they will, will share with you. And, and we watch for that too children on a playground, is somebody alone? You want, you want to look for that. You yeah. need to ask more, yes. have a conversation exactly. with your child. That's why dinners with your family are important. Right. They are important. Debbie, amazing advice today. Thanks so much for being here. You're welcome, you're welcome. Glad to be here. Well, to learn more about Columbus Academy, they have an admissions open house coming up on Sunday, November 20th. It's from 2 until 4. You can tour the campus, meet current students and parents, and talk with teachers and coaches. You can RSVP by calling 614-509-2220.